offer a wide range of children's programming uh, from the very young to up to 16 years of age. We have programs for babies, which initially will get them introduced to coming to the library with their families. We then move on to preschool age children, which give them particular skills such as creativity, socialization, as well as getting into the habit of taking up books, taking them home. And there's nothing better than giving a child their very first library card. And then, of course, as they get older, it's important to continue to engage them uh, and keep them coming back. Lucas has autism and doesn't always get accepted very well, and the library is really good. We did the TV reading program over the summer, as well as the story time. And there were some older kids in the TV reading club that were very supportive with his iPad and... As you can see now, he started to talk, and before he was using his device, and now we don't need it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and you're quite proud of that, aren't you? Whoa. I like reading to the dogs because I love dogs, and if I make a mistake, they get to learn from it. And if you, and they don't judge you when you make a mistake. Welcome, my name is Sue and I'm here at the Ontario Early Years Centre where we provide programs for children and parents zero to six and we partnership with many of uh, the community partners. And this is what Dinosaur does, he goes roar, roar. The librarian comes in and does a circle time here where she does uh, songs, rhymes and stories with the parents to promote literacy and for parents to know a familiar face at the library where they can say hi. with the Adult Learning Program and we're uh, program coordinators and we uh, are governed by the uh, uh, library board. Now we're here at the Empl Education and Employment Resource Centre partnered with Partners in Employment and they're an employment service agency. We are all funded under Employment Ontario through the Ministry of Training Colleges and Universities and we provide service uh, uh, to people helping them uh, upgrade their reading, writing, and math skills. We've seen people who've had very successful lives, had great jobs, have raised wonderful families and done well, but then realized, oh, I'm laid off, laid off and I uh, can't go back to work where I used to without a grade 12 or I can't get another job. So we've seen people that have been so afraid at first, but then realize that they do have the skills and they can learn. and. Uh, kind of rise above that. I've got a job in a factory, but I can't get a grade, without my grade 12, I cannot get a full-time job, so I will remain a temp. Being able to um, have somebody know your inadequacies and be able to help you overcome it to a certain extent to help you move on. There's a lot of emotion. Um, when we initially meet with people because it takes a lot of courage to come through the door. Every day is a struggle to increase your self-esteem, to gain a little bit more knowledge so that you can be out there and, you know, just function. Quite often they go on to college um, and then they get a job, their dream job sometimes, so um, mm -hmm. it's, it's really wonderful and, and makes us feel really good about the work that we do here.